the universe is coming, and the source of transformational insights is the James Webb Space Telescope's groundbreaking observations themselves. The whole world was gobsmacked when the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, released its first clutch of images, showing us the universe like never before. It was the $10 billion US gift to the world, and now the telescope continues to stun us when it captures the farthest individual star known in the universe, revealing the discovery challenges our theories of stellar evolution itself. Join us today as we uncover James Webb's new discovery of the most distant star ever and delve into how James Webb upended our understanding of the cosmos. Without any delay, let's get started. James Webb Space Telescope launches astronomy into a new era. Indeed, the history of science could be written as a history of instrumentation, from particle accelerators and microscopes to functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRIs, and telescopes. As instruments become more powerful, they act as reality amplifiers, magnifying our view of the very small and the very large, allowing us to glimpse what is invisible to the human eye. It is hard to imagine that up until 1609, all we knew about the skies depended on what we could see with the naked eye. When Galileo Galilei had the insight to aim his telescope at the night sky, he saw what no human had ever seen before, a new sky full of surprises and possibilities. This new sky would reveal a new world order, out with an Aristotelian view of an earth-centered cosmos, a frozen sky where celestial objects were perfect and unchangeable, and in with a marvelously imperfect heaven, a moon full of craters and mountains, Jupiter with four orbiting moons, now we know there are about 79 and counting, though a Saturn with ears, that is, the rings, that his telescope could not yet resolve, and a Milky Way made of a countless number of stars. New instruments hold the promise of a worldview transformation. As we look deep into nature, our vision of reality and us in it changes. It is then no surprise that the astrophysics community was so excited while witnessing the launch of a new marvel of instrumentation, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Even if it is often called the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, the JWST is a different kind of machine altogether and it surpasses the Hubble in several ways. James Webb will allow astronomers to look not only farther out in space but also further back in time, it will search for the first stars and galaxies of the universe. It will allow scientists to make careful studies of numerous exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our sun, and even embark on a search for signs of life there. In other words, the web is a machine for answering unanswered questions about the universe, for exploring what has been unexplorable until now. As Amber Strong, an astrophysicist at NASA who works on the web, said, what we're going to get is a telescope that's about a hundred times more powerful than Hubble. But how? The web improves on Hubble in two key ways. The first is just its size. Hubble was about the size of a school bus, whereas web is like the size of a tennis court. This thing is enormous, Strawn says. Webb is by far the biggest telescope NASA's ever attempted to send into space, but it's not just the total size of the contraption that matters. When it comes to reflecting telescopes, the key component is the size of its curved mirror. You could sort of think of a telescope mirror like a light bucket, the more light you can collect in this bucket, the fainter and farther away things you can see in the universe. Hubble's mirror was an impressive 7.8 feet in diameter. Webb's beautiful gold-hued mirrors combined for a diameter of 21.3 feet. Overall, that amounts to more than six times the light-collecting area. And what does that mean in practice? Well, the short answer is we're seeing farther back in time with Webb. With Webb, astronomers will be able to see so far back that they'll potentially spot the very first stars and galaxies ever formed. Hubble has seen light dating back to about 400 million years after the Big Bang, which took about 13.3 billion years to reach us. But Webb has the capability to take us to 250 million years after the Big Bang. That might not sound like a big difference, but it's the difference between seeing the first stars that ever turned on and arriving a bit too late after the funeral. Astronomers call this period when the first starlight shone through the universe cosmic dawn. With the Webb, humanity will be able to glimpse it for the very first time. On the other hand, unlike Hubble, James Webb is primarily an infrared telescope, so it sees light that's in a longer wavelength than what our eyes can see. This seems nerdy and technical, but it's actually what allows Webb to look further back in time than the Hubble, opening new windows to the early universe. According to Sarah Sager, a planetary scientist and astrophysicist at MIT, 
the web represents the culmination of decades, if not centuries, of astronomy. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. With such great power, James Webb promises to transform our understanding of the universe, and the reality proves that the $10 billion US gamble is living up to its bill. The whole world was stunned by Webb's awe-inspiring images and confounding scientific discoveries since it began its epic science mission. Within just a few weeks of working, the Infrared Observatory has already discovered several candidate galaxies that quite simply challenge the Big Bang Theory and our galactic evolutionary models. And now, Webb has focused its instruments on the most distant star ever observed, one that began shining just 900 million years after the Big Bang. The images improve on those taken earlier this year by the Hubble Space Telescope, which discovered this ancient object and provided astronomers with their first glimpse of a star from the early period of the universe. Astronomers call this ancient star Irondale, a word derived from Old English meaning morning star or rising light. It began burning some 13 billion years ago but because of the expansion of the universe, now sits about 28 billion light-years from Earth, making it the most distant star ever observed. Astronomers know it's very old because its light is very, very red. Very old light is red because it's been stretched over time as it travels through space. Extremely distant stars and galaxies appear to move away from us at greater speeds than closer galaxies, so their light is redder. So the redder a star or galaxy, the earlier in the universe it existed. Irondale's light has a redshift of 6.2, while most stars found using gravitational lensing have redshifts of between 1 and 1.5. Notably, Irondale is only observable because of an extraordinary cosmic coincidence. As seen from Earth, it sits behind a vast cluster of galaxies called WHL 0137-2008, with a gravitational field that focuses its starlight toward Earth, magnifying it up to 40,000 times. This gravitational lensing effect makes Irondale's host galaxy appear as a smear of light across the distant universe. The star under scrutiny appears to be a giant hydrogen-burning B-type star, with a mass estimated to be between 20 and 200 times that of our Sun. However, there's a possibility that it could be part of a binary system, and the observed data suggests that various combinations of stars might better fit the observations. The most fitting combination so far is speculated to be a luminous cool star with a hot companion. Despite efforts, the current data isn't sufficient to definitively resolve this puzzle. Nevertheless, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is scheduled to observe this star again later in the year, offering a chance to gather more data and potentially unravel the mystery. Additionally, these observations will contribute to our understanding of one of the universe's earliest stars. It's fascinating to witness the remarkable capabilities of the JWST and its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which have revolutionized our perception of the cosmos. Notably, the JWST has recently made groundbreaking discoveries, such as capturing the farthest star ever observed and detecting the most distant supermassive black hole to date. This ancient black hole, residing in the galaxy Cirrus 1019, formed a mere 570 million years after the Big Bang and weighs a staggering 9 million solar masses, challenging conventional notions about black hole size and brightness in the early universe. Moreover, the JWST has provided captivating insights into the formation of stars, unveiling a mesmerizing scene of two young stars actively forming within a pocket of space approximately 1470 light years away. This image, produced using the telescope's powerful infrared sensors, reveals intricate details of the stellar nursery, including a dusty disk surrounding the stars and colossal lobes of ejected material, shedding light on the processes driving star formation. The image also showcases the JWST's signature diffraction spikes, serving as a testament to its distinct imaging capabilities. By leveraging these features, scientists can delve into the intricate dynamics of star formation, unraveling mysteries hidden within the cosmic landscape. This comprehensive portrait offers a glimpse into the complex interplay of celestial phenomena, enriching our understanding of the universe's evolution. In conclusion, the JWST's latest discoveries underscore its pivotal role in advancing our knowledge of the cosmos, inspiring awe and curiosity with each revelation. As we continue to explore the depths of space, the JWST stands as a beacon of scientific ingenuity, guiding us towards new frontiers of discovery. Bout today's content, everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.